Here in the MRC Centre for Medical Mycology at the University of Exeter, we're working hard to find new treatments for fungal diseases. This is not easy because fungal cells are surprisingly similar to our own, making it difficult to find medicines that kill the fungus without also harming ourselves. A major disease-causing fungus is Candida albicans, which lives as a harmless yeast in the digestive tract of most people. However, in patients with weakened immune systems, it can cause life-threatening bloodstream infections by changing to a filamentous form called hyphae. Hyphae can escape into different parts of the body, causing inflammation and organ failure. If we could find a way of stopping hyphae invading tissue, we could reduce the number of deaths caused by this fungus. To do this, our scientists are using state-of-the-art microscopy to look inside hyphal cells to find out how they work. By attaching a fluorescent tag to fungal DNA, we can track its movements and look for differences between hyphae that cause disease compared with mutants that do not. Even though we can see only the DNA we've tagged, by analyzing its movement, we can identify what type of invisible forces are controlling it. As an example of how this works, imagine that the DNA is joined to something like a rigid rod, a spring, a piece of string, or by nothing at all. Each type of linkage influences the way that the DNA can move as the cells grow. Our software first plots the relative movement of the DNA inside the cell and then uses the distinctive patterns to work out what type of linkage is involved. If this linkage can be targeted by a compound that doesn't harm humans, we might be able to develop it into a new drug to tackle disease and save more lives. Fungi are complex microorganisms, but we're bringing together scientists with skills in biology, imaging, computational analysis and mathematics so that we can see inside fungal cells and make sense of what we find. <laughs>